texture painting is something we all love to do but the tools we have in blender are limited to some extent these five free add-ons which i'm going to list will let you enhance your texturing workflow some add-ons would improve the texturing workflow while others would add something to help your renders look better with the help of these add-ons you can approach with different types of texturing textiles so without any further ado let's begin with our list let's start with a simple one outline helper will simply let you add borders onto your character edges with just one click you can quickly add outlines onto the models after downloading and installing the add-on it would be visible here on the side panel click on it and you would see these three options click add set line while the model is selected and it will have this line on its edges you can increase or decrease the thickness by this bar This add-on is using Solidify modifier. You can also modify it using the modifiers palette rather than the tool itself. Very handy add-on if you want the line art on your models quickly. Works best for stylus models. Texturing with layer is something which is a very requested feature in Blender. This UCU Paint add-on will just let you do that. After installing the add-on, it will be available here on the side panel. Just make sure the object is selected. Click on quick UCU paint node setup, it will ask you which channels you want to add. Let it be default, you will need all these channels. Clicking on the color will let you change the color of the object. You can change roughness, metallic and the other values. It works like a normal principal BSDF. To add a layer, click on the plus sign, select solid color. Here you would see the color of the layer. I will change it to a more off white so I can paint it. I can also change the channel of the layer to metallic roughness or normal. I'll keep it to color and click OK. Now we have two layers stacked on each other. I can add a mask by clicking on the plus sign beside the mask and will select new image mask. White means the full opacity of the current layer. I will change it to black which means the current layer will be transparent completely because we would paint on it. I will hit control tab to switch into texture paint mode. I will click on tools. On this panel we can see all the brush settings. The white reveals and the black hides. Our layer is set to black mask so we would paint white on it. To reveal it and i will just paint the stripes on the leaves by hitting x on the keyboard i can invert the mask painting on it will again hide the paint i can decrease or increase the strength of the stroke too turning the factor down will turn the opacity down of the layer like substance painter and photoshop this add-on has a blending mode for layers i can change it to any blending mode i want Clicking on the preview mode will isolate other layers and show you only the selected layer. You can also do the same with the channels. Turning preview on the color will isolate other channels and only show you the flat color. Doing the same thing with the other channels like roughness will only show you the roughness map. You can also add a procedural texture with this method. I will add a new layer having the noise texture on it. Channel type to normal and bump. The noise texture has been added but the scale is too much. Clicking on the vector here will let you scale, rotate and offset the texture. I will increase the scale a bit. I will add a mask on it too. Just like the Substance City Painter, we can add masks to any kind of layer. Having the black mask, I will paint the texture with white and it will make the layer visible. You can also use existing texture using this add-on. Click on the plus icon on the layer and select open images to single layer and select the existing textures. For example, if you have textures on another application like Substance Painter and already have the texture maps, you can use this feature and continue painting on Blender. You can add layers on top of it and start painting. To bake the textures, click on this gear icon and select bake all channels. You can select the texture size and choose between CPU or GPU for the baking. To export, click this gear icon Again, beside the bake textures and select save as image. This add-on can be very useful if you want to speed up your texturing workflow. It is not as good as other texturing apps, but it can be a better choice than the default texturing tool sets of Blender. This time, it is not an add-on. I will talk about a material. Studio Painter is a painter material created by Barely Art. Link in the description. Using this add-on, you can instantly turn your textures into painter. After downloading from the link, you would get a blend file. Click on file and select a pen. Click on file and select a pen. Select the blend file. You would see all these folders. Go to the node tree and select all these files. Click a pen. Go to shading, give it a new material and delete the principal BSDF shader. Press shift A and select the studio shader EV. Press shift A again and select studio painter this time. Connect P color to P color, P data to P data. Add a texture coordinate node, connect the UV to mapping and the brush strokes have start appearing. 
This is the base color of the shader and these 5 palettes are for brush strokes. Just playing with the colors which looks good. You can change the brush size with the settings. The brush shape, the head size determines the level of noise on the strokes. These parameters are pretty self-explanatory. One thing which is very useful is this color influence which can be very handy to use. How it works is, I will select the light and duplicate it. I will change the color of both lights, I will give this one red and the other yellow. Now what this color influence does is it will use the light colors and spread the color accordingly. I will copy the light again and give this one green. Moving the light away and seeing how it spreads color using the light. Very handy if you want to throw extra colors onto a model creating this water painting effect. You could also use image textures and convert them into painterly style using this material. Having the image texture added in the middle, connect the P displacement into vector socket and the color into the P color. It's blacked out because again we need to add texture coordinates and attach UV into the mapping. Increase the brush size until you are satisfied with the brush strokes. All these parameters would work the same as before which I showed you including this color and influence parameter. This material can be very useful if you have textured and painted the model first then want to convert them into a painterly style. This list will not be complete if we don't talk about the geometry nodes. Painterly planes is a set of geometry nodes created by this user. It will turn your object into a hand painted render with all the brush strokes creating a really interesting style choice. Download the blend file from the Gumroad. Append the file after downloading. Select the node tree and select Penterly Brushes V2. Let's try adding this on a cone model. While the model is selected, go to modifiers and search for Painter Brushes. After appending, they would appear here and select it. Well, it did something. Click on material and select any material provided by the file. I will select the brush material for example. Now this material is already assigned to another object. I will clone the material so I can change the color of one without affecting the other. I will again click on material and select the new material, the one which I have cloned. Now I can change the color of it. This is how you can quickly add painterly material to your scene. Just select any object you want, append the material and start using it. Last but not least, another add-on which will let you texture paint with layers is called Layer Painters. It is completely free. It works similar as UCU Paint which I mentioned earlier, but slightly has a better design and user interface. You would see the add-on here on the end panel after installing. To use it, click on new and it will give a new material. This is the material palette and these are the layer section. This works like a default material. You can change the properties like color from the material sections. Click on this plus icon to add a layer. Then click add PBR channels. You can select all these channels to have on the layer. I will tick mark the base color. We got the original color. I can just change the color and it will stack above the original material color. I can turn this into a paint layer by clicking on the paint. We we'll click OK. The texture section has been opened. I can now paint the black color on the existing one. I will just start painting on it. This add-on serves as a layering system if you want to do the hand painted textures. It can really ease up your workflow. Not just base material, you can paint any other channels as well. I will quickly add a roughness channel this time and start painting it. The black will reveal and the white will hide the roughness mask, just like any other black and white mask if you have used it before. You can also add procedural mask, I will quickly give it a new material in green. I will add a second layer and paint it in yellow. I will switch to mask from here and click add mask. You can select all these procedural materials, I will select the dirty spots. As you can see, it used the black and white mask to add the dirt. You can add this procedural mask to any channel and not just the base color, like roughness and metallic. And guys, that's it. These are the 5 free add-ons which can enhance your texturing workflow to a great deal. Some just help create a unique style render, others will help with the texturing workflow. If you like this video, please hit subscribe and comment what you want me to cover next time. Until then, take care.